man, filming during sunsets is weird. Enjoyme, Zach! So last week I got to visit my permanent site for the first time, and this is actually my last week in Training Village. And one week from now I'm gonna be going to uh, Combo to do my last week and then swear in. And in a week I should be returning to my permanent site permanently. I'm going to be a full-fledged Peace Corps volunteer. Once that happens, we're going to be spending three months doing what's called an integration period, and we're going to be then, the main goal is obviously to integrate into the community, but there's also a community needs assessment, which is another important goal where we, it's exactly what it sounds like, we go from compound to compound, assessing the needs of the community, uh, basically with a survey, a questionnaire, which we fill out ourselves as well as asking them in order to gauge what is most needed and also what is most wanted from us as Peace Corps volunteers in the communities in which we will be serving. After that, we're going to be going to do our main training three months from now in Masembe again. So I'd like to begin with a topic in biology, predation. And it's something that actually is maybe in our favor here. The first place where I can think of is I have a backyard mate, you could say. Somebody who moved into my pit latrine, a tailless whip scorpion. And it was something that scared me at first. I was afraid to use the bathroom because he now lives in my toilet, and I was perpetually scared that he would jump out and claw my... Well, you know. As time went on, it became much more clear that he was way more scared of me than I was of him. That makes sense, that's the case with most creatures of that size. Comparing that to Besse, I have cockroaches currently in my pit latrine, a really bad infestation, and I now want... I want, I'm not going to be able to, but I want to be able to take my tailless whip scorpion friend with me, because he would be very good at policing the uh, cockroaches. In fact, he's in a way a very good natural cleaning system. Following this, another issue I realized with my pit latrine is that there were cracks in it that, well, created very easy holes, divots for water to fill up. It didn't really drain away, and with the little puddles I became worried of mosquito larvae. I don't want to be fostering mosquito larvae in a country that I'm here to fight malaria in. That said, on my second night there, I noticed as soon as the puddle had formed and I had dipped out, a little frog had come to <laughs> guard the area, eating any mosquitoes that came by. I think this pretty well demonstrates the principles of ecology, why we're going to want to keep ecosystems and the environment safe. They're not only good for the animals that live in them, we are the animals that live in them. Even in the city, there are ecosystems that form around us, and whether they are pests or other creatures that help is something that we have some degree of control over. And for that reason, I think that's something that can be explored. At the same time, it's something you want to be careful with, because, well, if I brought my tailless whip scorpion with me to Besse, it's very possible he might start eating the frogs. It's also worth noting that the frogs may be in their own health risks, as well as the tailless whip scorpions. The predators may carry diseases of their own, or foster an environment that creates more diseases. I don't want to maintain puddles so that way I can maintain mosquito populations so I can maintain predators. If the point is to keep the prey down, abstaining from doing something that could help remove mosquitoes from the population because it might hurt the frog population may also be a danger worth considering. This is something that's good, but also playing with nature can also be playing with fire, and that's something that should also be acknowledged. So those are some basic thoughts on ecology, let's move on. So I want to share a piece of Gambian culture. When you enter a new location, when you go to a new place, you're supposed to bring all the people who live there, including the Alcalo, who is basically the leader of the village. If there's a village chief, the village chief, the imam, any sort of board leaders or educators, the important people of the village, you bring what is called a cola nut. And uh, they're a little pricier than other food items in the market, but they're these fairly large nuts that have a very bitter taste to them that you chew. 
a little bit of caffeine in there too. Yeah, it's bitter. The big deal about them though is that if you if somebody accepts your cola nut, then they're obliged to take you in to accept you. Now, now when I went to my permanent site to visit for the first time, I ran into a little trouble because they were out of cola nuts. So I ended up handing them out, handing out mint candies to everybody, which my community representative said was a good alternative. I kind of want to get more cola nuts just to hand out when I actually get there permanently, but for now, <laughs> I don't know what to think of that. I guess the mint candies will have to do. Random aside, there's another Peace Corps volunteer named Dustin who everybody says looks like he looks like my twin or I look like his twin, we look like twins. And for the life of me, I have never been able to see it until seeing myself right now in this light. Ah uh, yeah, at this point it's getting dark, so I'm going to say Ben again. See you next time. <laughs>